Now I don't know if it's picking up on my uh, microphone, but you can just hear a, a faint that's just the heat radiating off the top of my head because it always happens at the beginning of the summer or at least nice weather where I go out probably for the first time and think, oh, about an hour walk. I won't need any coverage at all on the top of my head. And I always end up just, uh, oops, nailed something. I just got to check to see we're still, yep, okay. And I end up just obliterating my head. So I've got a bit of a sunburn on the top of my head today. Um, wear protection, folks, at all times. Anyway, it's Monday. Mondays are state days. So why would this one be any different? It's not. We're doing the next state. If you remember, last week was New Mexico. Now we're doing probably the most synonymous state with, uh, with the U.S., if you think about it, is the uh, state of New York. If you look up here, it's in the northeast. It is not part of New England. New England ends at the border of New York, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut. They don't count New York. Fuck New York. <clears throat> anyway, it's a large state. It's more than just this little nugget down here, which is massive. I mean, you've got it bordering with Canada, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, a couple of Great Lakes. It's, it runs the gamut as far as like states go. It was the 11th state admitted to the Union on July 26, 1788. Its capital is Albany, or Albany, if you want to pronounce things wrong. Um, I have a feeling a lot of what's going to be on here. Granted, it is random. Well, from what the person who's created the map has done. There might be a lot of New York City in here. Um, I'll do some more of the general info on this. It's got 19.5 million people live in the state. It is the fourth largest state in the United States. We do have a bus here. Bus is gone. Um, it is about fifty-four point six square uh thousand square miles. Yes, it's twenty-seventh largest in area. Its highest elevation is Mount Marcy, which is five thousand three hundred forty-four feet, and lowest elevation is the ocean. I'm just wanting to look at this truck to see if I can't see. Okay, Long Island City. All right. So we got Long Island over here. I don't know exactly where Long Island City is because um, I'm I've only been to like one little bit of New York City, and that's when I went to uh, see a Yankees game a few times, maybe twice. Long Island City. I'm just I'm just seeing if I can't find it because I have very little knowledge of how they set up this place. Like I always think that. New York is just this, like, all of this is New York City, all of that is New York City, and, it, you know, it's not the case. I'm going to say we're maybe over here. I don't know. I'm going to click here, and maybe we're close, although it could be over here. Anyway. Uh, let's see, more of the state. Well, its history is very obvious to the rest of the, uh, States in the U.S. where it was uh, a Native Americans colonized it. I think it was what were the, what were the two? It was Iroquois and Algonquin. And the way that they have the uh, territories kind of split up here in New York, you've got. Um, let's see if I can do this. So basically, on this edge of Lake Champlain, and kind of swathing down this way. Everything to the left of it was Iroquoian, and everything to the right of it was uh, Algonquin, and there was a bunch of smaller tribes, but I've got the Mohawk, the Oneida, Susquehannas, the Erie's on one side, then you've got the Delaware, the Mohican, yeah, Mohican, Pentecost, Montauk, you know, like uh, Montauk had this entire island down here. Native Americans had it. Colonists came, uh, 
they came south from Montreal doing a lot of proselytizing, spreading religion. You had, oh, so we were actually like square within, what borough is this? I, I don't know. I don't know boroughs in uh, New York City. There was not Yankee Stadium. I went to the old Yankee Stadium, which I think was on the other side of the street, if I remember. But that was a while ago. Let's see. Um, I mean, a lot of people know what New York is, or at least the city. It's got a lot of... <clears throat> the, the state's got a lot going for it when you think of it includes four of the world's most 10 visited tourist attractions in 2013 Times Square, Central Park, Niagara Falls and Grand Central Terminal I didn't know Grand Central was such a big deal um, I mean yeah city it's, it's Ellis Island where it was like the place that immigrants would first come to when they're coming to America they would land on Ellis Island which is <clears throat> close to where can I get forward on the street thank you Statue of Liberty the, you know it's there's there's a lot going on in the state and it's very um, hard to cover it all in a very short amount of time so I guess what I could do instead is talk about the parts that I've been to um, if you've listen or paid attention to anything else I've actually ooh, world's best patties that sounds good uh, if you paid attention to any of the uh, other videos I've done where I've hiked a lot I'll do quite a bit of hiking in New York because it's not that far away from where I live and there's a um, I don't know if it's a contest but at least a, a goal you can shoot for where it's like the Ooh, it's a learn how to drive truck. I want to I wanna look at this here. What do we got? We're in the Bronx, huh? Uh, where exactly are the Bronx? I don't know. I see Brooklyn, Jamaica, Queens, the Bronx. Here we go. I'll just click like right here. Uh, I'm assuming it's, that's where it is, but I don't know. Um, it's, I think it's the 46 or 48. It's 40-something, maybe 47 or 48, where you try to climb. I think it's all mountains that are above 4,000 feet in New York in the Adirondacks. Because, <clears throat> again, a lot of people know about this, but it's crazy when you visit and it's really remote. Well, not it's pretty sparsely populated. Like, all of this up here, this is all protected land. Like national parks, there's another little bit down here. And up here, it's like if you've seen places in Alaska where it's pretty desolate, just trees everywhere, no one's driving anywhere, that's a lot of New York up here. I mean, yeah, you got places like Buffalo, Syracuse, and Rochester. But then you've got like this here. It's crazy. Uh, great hiking. They're having a bit of an issue now, at least with last year, probably going into this year as well, where the um, accommodations like parking that they have for a lot of these trails, they're like woefully inadequate just from the fact that uh, if you've never hiked, at least in the East, I don't know how many other places in the U.S. do this too. There's a log book. When you go to the trailhead, put your name, where you're from, the uh, destination, how many people are with you, you know, kind of general information. It's good for keeping records for things like this and also in case you, like, maybe get lost. They'll have a pretty good uh, guesstimation because you're also supposed to check when you're leaving as well, saying, like, hey, I've, I've left, I'm out. So they're all safe. What's with my phone? There we go. Um, and using that stuff, they're like, oh, my God, there's, like, uh, exponential amount of people coming to use these trails up here and if we don't actually work on fixing them then they're going to cause things like erosion mud um, trail degradation because you got to keep maintaining the trails if you don't have adequate parking for people they're going to find places to park kind of like right here even though this is just I think 
Uh, no, they got plates on them. Uh, maybe they're just off hunting. I don't know. But yeah, this is the other part of New York. You got these fancy guardrails that are very rusty. I don't know if it's actually painted that way or if it's rust, but I'm getting flashbacks. I feel like I've been on this road. I mean, I have it, but yeah, this is a lot of New York. Another way you can tell when you're in New York, if you're looking at GeoGuessr stuff, is you can see street signs like this. At least in this part of New York, like this swath here, I've driven through and every street sign is this brown with gold color on the street signs. And if you've seen other places where it's green and white, and this is also the root sign, junction of Route 10. I want to see what this sign says this way. Okay, we're at Lake Pleasant, Speculator, Southern Adirondack Trail, I believe is what that says. There's a lot of trails out here. This is, there are some very amazing um, uh, views, hikes. It's crazy. I, it, I'm very glad I got into hiking as I did. There's other things too. You got the Finger Lakes out here that are, they look like fingers, kind of. And it's a pretty good uh, destination, vacation type stuff. You want to go out in the woods. Lake Pleasant. We should probably start looking for uh, Route 10 as well. This is Route 10. Hmm. Now we got to look for... Spec oh, well, we're getting near the junction of it, so <clears throat> let's not get ahead of myself here. We've got Pine Lake, Poland. 18 miles to that. Okay, we have an intersection up here. 10 and 8. We got to look for 10. Can I find 8? Is this even the correct route? I don't know. Let's, let's head up north here. See how very remote this stuff is? Okay, I think we're actually on 8. So we would have had to, okay, yeah. So we were like, maybe here. I'm going to go ahead home because we were near that road intersection. I think we might have nailed this one. But like I was mentioning, a lot of New York is, well, the vast majority of New York is basically this. A lot of woods. I should probably get a little closer. Wiggins Bay? Higgins Bay. All right, let's look for Higgins Bay. Um, give me some roads here. Oh, Higgins Bay was right there. Okay. Higgins Bay Road. We were like maybe here. No, maybe like right here actually. Um, do I have enough time to go the other way? We went around a turn. Okay, we do have another intersection here. So we were... I'm going to say... I think it's right here. I think I got it. Zoom out a little bit. Um, other places that I always go to as a kid, you go to Lake George or the Six Flags Great Escape uh, amusement park down here. It used to just be called Great Escape. Then Six Flags Body, go to the Steam and Demon. Ooh, we were very close. I'm happy with that. Although 10 points off, you know, that's a bit extreme. Um, yeah, amusement park. I mean, it's a pretty tiny one compared to other places in the U.S. When you think of large amusement parks, it was great going to that thing, especially you get the year pass, which I think was $20, which was an insane deal. You drive out there, it maybe be about 45 minute drive from where I lived. Um, go there in the middle of the week when there's nobody there and it'd be great because you go on that the guy would be who would be running the ride being like all right so there's like five of you on this thing how would you go twice in a row and we would go on the rides twice it was great um right around there i want to zoom in again because i'm just remembering some of this stuff where are we i gotta find oh we didn't go that far south lake george we had a skate land that was right next to that, but I didn't give a shit about skating. The fun part was, uh, I gotta find where Great Escape is so I can center myself. Great Escape. 
you'd go down a little bit. You go Martha's Dandy Cream. She had a giant chicken on top of the building. Um, Pirate's Cove here. There was also next to it a skate land that had uh, go karts, but you had to pay extra for. But I didn't give a shit. They're fucking go karts. They're great. Who doesn't like driving around on go karts? Ooh, we do have. I don't think I'm actually going to get. No, okay. Um, anything else about New York? I don't know. Lincoln Davies. There's a... Ooh, we do have... Oh, they actually do have different roads here. Paris Station. I don't know what that is. Let's see what this sign says. Yeah, I don't know when or where, if there's specific locations where they won't actually have that road signage I talked about where the color was different. Maybe it's just, like, within the, uh... Within, like, one of the national parks. That could be also what they're doing. But, again... You know about New York City, but then look at this. Lots of farmland everywhere. Um, when I was driving to visit some friends out in Ohio, I uh, drove on this interstate, I-90, which was just a straight line, essentially, all the way across the state. And a lot of the highway was just flat, straight, pretty boring. Um, anything about Buffalo? I drove by Buffalo. It's kind of an industry town. Um, it's the unspoken, or at least talked down one, because everyone from New York's like, oh, yeah, everyone knows New York City. Buffalo's just Buffalo. Uh, Albany is okay. I've only been there like a couple of times. They have a giant concrete egg. It's like a space egg or something. I think it's like the Opera House or something. It looks really weird. I don't know where this is, and I've not seen any signage, and I've got 20 seconds left, and I am a little, little concerned. 20 seconds. Ooh, we do have Waterville. I don't know where Waterville is. I'm going to say we're maybe here, unless I can just happen to see Paris. I, I'm not going to find it. I can find Herkimer. But not going to find that. No, we were very much more in the center of the state, right outside Utica. We were on Route 12, but we would never have seen a sign. Um, any other little thing about New York? I'm surprised we only got two in the city and then the rest outside. It's just, I can just feel the heat. I think that my. my my head is reacting to the picture of the bright sunlight here, and it's it's panicking. It's like, no, no more sun. I'm done. I was like, yes, I understand. I won't do that again. West 5. Okay. <clears throat> and I'll look to see if I can't find it. Just with a quick scan, I see 3. I've been on Route 9 plenty of times. You use this one to get on a lot of... There's Mount Marcy. I think we're going to end up doing that one this year. The tallest mountain. A lot of the problem, though, is if you want to do the records for, or at least say I got all the mountains above the 4,000, you have to, like, clump a bunch together because a lot of this shit's real remote, real remote to get to. Or you have to, like, camp for a couple of days. Ooh, we do have five. All right. I see five. Does five can okay, five does continue through here. All right, so we've got a pretty long route here. I'm gonna hopefully find a town along this. And uh be able to pin us down a little bit better because this is a long strip of road. We've got corn out here. Lots of corn gets grown out here. Not seeing any signage of any roads. Hmm. I like how I pointed out, you know you're in New York when you see those signs, and then I've only seen it was the one. So it shows how much I know. Come on. 
Let me get to a town. This is a very long strip of road with, without very little information on it. This one's a little different as far as like talking about the state compared to all the other ones, maybe just because I've had a lot of interaction with the state of New York. Ooh, we do have potentially a town. Small towns always like listing Lions Clubs. You got Freemasons. You got Knights of Columbus. I forget what the L is. Car dealership. Oh, maybe it's RV. Very big flag. Myers RV. Hmm. Um, we've got elections for assembly for Marjorie Barnes. Come on, give me a town name. Oh, we do have a town. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Caledonia. All right. Looking for Caledonia. Okay, five seems to split a bit. Just keeping an eye on five for a Caledonia. I think it's a small. Okay, I think it ended. It did. Okay. Now I gotta just try to find Caledonia here. I'm gonna click here just so I actually have a marker because I'm not making that mistake again. Caledonia. Five has disappeared again. Five is back. I haven't seen it yet. I'm gonna click farther this way. So hopefully I'm getting closer. Fayetteville, nope. I'll click like here. I'll click here. Man, I had a long way to go. I went on the wrong side of the the uh, thing here. There's Caledonia. We're getting next to Weedport though. Well, all right. There's the uh, quick state of New York. Um, hopefully that was at least informative and maybe talking a little bit more about my interactions with it and not so much New York City. I mean, there's still quite a bit more I didn't get to that I maybe would have wanted to. I don't know. Maybe for another time. Um, but I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, suggestions, observations, musings, go ahead and put them in the comments below with your like, favorite comments, other comments, and subscriptions. Subscriptions. That's the better word. Um. Monday's done. Hopefully my head's a little bit better by then. <laughs> I'm just hiding from the sun for the next couple of days. You uh, don't do what I did. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday, folks. Goodbye.